What's up friends and welcome back. We are going on the most epic adventure that we have had on this channel yet. Something I've been looking forward to for a long time. So buckle up and let's go. We traveled more than five hours south to where all the springs are guys. First stop, Homosa Springs State Park where they have an amazing wildlife preserve. You know which way we're going. There's one. Look at my god. It's flooding over there. Can you okay, see one over there? there? Yeah. I'm okay, going to go that way. Where do we go? We got to go. We're here for our bucket list trip. This is one of the locations out here we're visiting while we're on this trip, and I am super excited. And you're about to see why. Did someone say manatees? Let me put his head back out. Wow. I see a nose. Did you guys see the nose? Oh my gosh. Are you nervous yet, Gina? <laughs> oh dear. Are you guys as, as stoked as I am? Because I am freaking out right now. This has been on my bucket list forever. Ever since we moved down here, I've been wanting to come to see the manatees and just be close to them. And this is an experience that I will never forget. I don't know which way they're going. the reason Gina's freaking out a little bit now that I've seen these in real life I might be freaking out and second guessing our decisions for this trip because the main reason that we are here is to swim with the manatees I didn't know that was a thing I didn't know you could do that I'm so I'm so excited that this is even a possibility and you're coming with us This wildlife preserve is located right by the Hamosa River. It's a great park where you can just walk around. They have easy walking trails and so much wildlife to explore. They have an underwater observatory where you can see everything up close. Will we go in there? <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> okay, mommy. <laughs> um, I can't see anything. Are we supposed to be able to see? <laughs> oh, over here you can see a little bit. Certain times of the year, you will be able to see a lot more wildlife down here and along the springs. If you guys come early, I believe it's around 11 and one, they do actual um, informational kind of classes throughout the day at those two times where you'll actually have more of an opportunity to see the manatee a little bit more up close and personal. Lou the hippopotamus, oh my goodness. He was actually born in the San Diego Zoo in 1960 and has been a resident of the Hamosa Springs since 1964. <laughs> I'm not staying here very long. <laughs> he weighed 90 pounds at birth and now exceeds 6,000 pounds, guys. I don't feel so bad about my weight right now. He's big and pretty. Hi, friend. You are beautiful. Hi, honey. Okay. Okay, we're friends. I'll give you a dollar to go wade in that water. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, pro I'd probably do it for more than a dollar. No. <laughs> 
that was a blast. I cannot wait for the next adventure. We have officially made it to Crystal River in we're, dude, we're stoked. This is happening. We are going swimming with the manatees today. Are you scared or excited or everything? I'm everything. <laughs> I'm so everything right now. We are getting um, our Airbnb tonight, so we're going to go show you guys our room for the night. And then tomorrow, we are getting wet suited up and going swimming with these big sea cows. So the Airbnb, I let Gina pick. So I, I did kind of the excursions, and she did the Airbnbs where we're going to stay. So it's called the Hippie Hut. <laughs> We're staying at the hippie hut tonight, so let's go see what in the world she's gotten me into. Yay! Oh dear. <laughs> After you, Gina. <laughs> How precious! <gasps> oh, I love it. Right. oh, this is amazing. Yeah, it should be a nice little so gas little fireplace thing or fire pit thing. Yes. Okay. So do we go in through there? Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is so fun. Oh, I Gina. Love it. oh my gosh. <laughs> This is so cool. There's a bunk up there. Is that the bathroom? Okay, this is it like a hippie bathroom? Legit. This is legit. Look at the little fridge. Who's gonna get <laughs> There's a disco ball. Find the light. Disco FIBA. <laughs> yes. Bye. We have a little place over here. You made it! Is it fun? Why is it so low? <laughs> I guess so you don't get hurt. <laughs> she did it! We're just relaxing. We're eating gummy bears and just relaxing for the night until tomorrow. Do you want those colors? I ate all the colors I wanted. <laughs> We're gonna have fun tomorrow. I'm an only child! <laughs> You don't learn to share and compromise? I am sharing, just the ones I don't like. <laughs> Good morning from the hippie hut. This is where we're headed to see and snorkel with the manatees. I'm so Hi. Are you guys checking in? Yes. We got checked in, got in our wetsuits, took our photo, and now we're ready to roll. Oh, it don't matter. We squeeze in. Wherever we need to. Yeah, it's like a church bus. Whoop, whoop. Are you excited, Gina? I'm excited. This is so amazing. My board, you're welcome. Make yourselves at home. All right. Let's go have some fun. Beach Bay is the only body of water you're legally allowed to swim with these animals. So once you get outside of this bay, it becomes illegal. So we're uh, really privileged to be able to, yeah. to do these tours, take people like you guys out to see manatees every day. It's really awesome. Yeah. They're great animals and we love sharing them with the world. We're also looking for areas right. where um, there's a grassy bottom. They love grass. Not because they're in college. They eat <laughs> <laughs> They'll consume about 10% of their body weight a day in aquatic vegetation of some sort. See how Gina gets in and see if I can be as graceful. Oh. So cool. I didn't think it was cold. <laughs> <laughs>
After the tour, they gave us hot chocolate and we had a relaxing ride on the way back. Shout out to Crystal, who was the best guide and got us these amazing photos of our day. Shout out to Captain Ryan for getting us there safely and entertaining us along the way. Thank you. We survived, Gina. I only panicked once. Only one time, but that's okay. One time's okay. That one swam right under me too and it was amazing. It's just a short two minute walk from the fun to dive headquarters to a spring that you can actually walk to. It's the only one that you can technically walk to in this area and we gonna do it. That's pretty cool. That is super sweet, guys. Check that off our bucket list. That was one of the most amazing experiences. Did you guys see how close that came to us? Like, I hope that showed up so good on film. I believe it did. I really hope it did. But it was like face to face with a manatee. And they swam right under us. And Gina got terrified when it did under her. I panicked. I panicked. I did. <laughs> she panicked. She was hanging on to the dad of the people that came with us. And it was amazing. It was so funny. He was like, wow, that's incredible. And I was like, please get me out of here. Lots <laughs> of rules about what not to do. So I thought I was accidentally going to break a rule and be put in. Oh, yeah. You can go to jail. You can. Manatee jail. You cannot touch these manatees. They can touch you. And if they touch you, you let them. If they want to love on you, you let them. You just can't touch them. So that was a little hard because you're having to be like so stiff and these big creatures are just like swimming around you. So that was, that was different. We're just hanging out here in the park trying to figure out what we're going to do next. And we have some really good ideas. One I know you're going to love, but another one we're still trying to figure out. So stay tuned and we are going to take you guys on another amazing adventure. Hey, pretty man. You want to go on an adventure? Do you think we should go somewhere else fun? Show me what you're working with. But before our next adventure, we stopped at the most amazing ice cream place that serves ice cream on donuts. Donuts, guys. Dude, if you guys are in Crystal River, you have to stop right here. Dyer's Donuts and ice cream and get a chubby mermaid. You heard me right guys, a chubby mermaid and you will not be disappointed. On our way to our second Airbnb of the trip, this is another one that Gina picked out for us. So I'm a little nervous, but let's see. It's gated, that's gotta be good, right? The lake house, Gina booked the lake house. We made it to Enchanted Oaks Farms. This is our Airbnb for the night. Gina did another amazing job picking where we we're going to stay. Do you guys want to see why this was the best place to stay? Because I'm getting ready to show you. Let's do it. Come on, guys. Check this out. Hi. 
One of the highlights of staying here at Enchanted Oaks was their zebra. They had a zebra that would come up to your window in the mornings and the afternoons from one of the little hobbit houses. You could just open the window, the zebra would put its head in. But unfortunately, the zebra passed away this past year. So they don't have the zebra at the moment, but this place is still magical. Still come out and experience the wonders of this place. <laughs> If you can see the windows in the back of these huts, that's what I'm talking about. You open those windows and the animals will come up to you. I'm assuming the goats still do, maybe? Her spot in life, right in the swing. We spent the rest of the evening just hanging out and enjoying this little lake house. <laughs> Are we just stuck in a weird? Gina, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm glamping. Isn't glamping? This, isn't this what you do? I got the glitter mask, the pink glitter mask. It looks like Pepto Bismol I rubbed all over my face. <laughs> Good morning. We enjoyed our time at the lake house, but now it's time to get on to our next adventure. We're taking you guys over to Silver Spring State Park for an epic kayak trip. Okay, so kayak launches, all that stuff straight ahead. There are so many kayaks here. I don't even know where to start, where to find ours, but we'll find it and we will get on the right tour, I hope. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I only have a few safety things that we're going to go over up here. We're going to talk about a whole lot of stuff down on the river. It took us a minute to get our footing because tandem kayaking is a lot different than kayaking by yourself, but we were able to get on our way safely. Did I mention that this springs has monkeys? Dude, I was looking up at the trees the whole time to try to find these monkeys. water is so crystal clear and y'all the clear kayaks is the way to go you can legit see everything they are shallow but they're having a celebration <laughs> oh my goodness a good time. Celebrate good times. come on <laughs> Our guide Brad was so informative. This guy knows his stuff. Just to be here in the springs where some of the most crazy movies were filmed. The black and white Tarzan movie was filmed right here. Creature of the Black Lagoon. That underwater photography started right here at this springs. And just to be here where all this stuff took place, oh my gosh. Yes, Mom, there was alligators. I kayaked with alligators. You're welcome. Although we didn't see monkeys ourselves, God Brad gave us this clip of a monkey that he saw recently on one of his excursions. And of course, there's manatees in the springs. Those beautiful, lovable manatees, they're here too. As our excursion with Kayaking Florida comes to an end, this is one for the books, guys. This whole adventure is one for the books. All right, my friend. Woo! 
right. Oh, you gonna leave your ready. jacket? <laughs> Do you need a new life jacket, Gina? <laughs> It was the whistle. She wanted the whistle. That's what it was. That's what I it was. I had fun today. I know. Thank we should have so used the whistle. Can I take that from you? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> She's going to take it. I better grab it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You guys have a great one. You too. Best kayaking adventure ever. I will totally do this a thousand times over and over again. We're going to go on one of these hiking trails and see if we can see more fun. Feeding the wild monkeys is prohibited, Gina. You didn't bring snacks, did you? No, no peanut butter. Okay, no peanut butter. We're good. Best time to see the manatees are in the winter months. So the best time I feel like you should come is like February. So I think next year we need to make a plan and come back in February and see the difference from February to April. The monkeys are the color of the, the trees, basically, and they like to hide out in the moss. So they may be difficult to see, but we're going to try it. This definitely looks like a place a monkey would want to hang out. So this is the kind of monkeys that we're looking for. We're trying to find those up in these trees. And I feel like we could see them if they're there. I feel like we heard them a few minutes ago, but I feel like we should see them. It's the same springs water that we were just kayaking in. That is so cool that you can see it from here. Our adventure was magical, even though we didn't get to see the massive amounts of manatees or really the monkeys. So. It was still an amazing trip and I will be back this winter to do it again just so that we can really see the difference in how many manatees are here and if we can actually catch those monkeys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Gina, did you have fun? I did. I had so much fun. Don't forget to subscribe and y'all keep on that coastal country ride and live it. That PYT life. We'll see you on the next one.